So, I'm back with some pap. Well, if I can talk, some papers. <laughs> pap is so, a completely different thing. <laughs> I don't even know how to lower this thing down so I can show you. So, I don't know if it's going to be hard to see for you, but this is the packet that I was talking to you about. Okay. So, this first one is my business card. Okay. I have people that can read to me. Okay. This is the COVA pamphlet that I was talking to you about. Okay. Um, it's got their phone number in it and some good information. Okay, so the ones you were going to have come by tonight? Yeah, or you can call later. Okay. So this right here is, is Victim's Bill of Rights. It has the date that it happened, my name, and the case report number. Okay. The case report number is also written on here. Okay. Um, on here has a, other information about the restraining order that I was talking to you about. Okay. Um, you can know, like... You can get um, information about the release when they get released from jail and stuff like that. Okay. That way you kind of are in the know so you're better protected. Okay. And then this form is, you don't have to fill it out. It's completely voluntary. But it's called the Pueblo Police Department Domestic Violence Victim Report and Case Summary. Okay. So um, what it is, I'll just explain it to you real quick. It has location of incident, uh, your name, the address, um, who called. Okay. Um, is there a valid restraining order, the suspect's name, um, his date of birth and address, your relationship? Um, then it, a it asks you a series of 14 questions. Um, I was struck slash injured by the subject, yes or no. The subject caused me physical pain, yes or no. Uh, was the incident an accident, yes or no. Are you afraid of the suspect, yes or no. Questions kind of like that that you answer. Um, okay. And then on the back here, this is just a medical release form just for uh, your medical records pertaining to this Perti exactly okay. so and then this part down here is you would just draw an X where he hit you or where you were struck okay. you would sign and date and that's it okay. so would you be interested in filling this out yeah I'll have my neighbor help me I well the, or you want to fill it out now I, it has to be filled out now I can't do it. I can do it. Okay. I can do it. See, because on here it says officers and dedicated victims response, yes or no, so I can I can fill this out for you. Um, <clears throat> we'll just start at you the top. You said on the other thing is your, your phone number, right? So. My business card will have my phone number. Yeah, so I can call that number tonight and get a hold of you, and you can tell me what the scoop is with him. No, because it, it just is my voicemail. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know my neighbor's phone number, her cell phone number. Hopefully she'll be back here before you leave. Okay. The, on the back is our non-emergency line. If you call okay. that and ask for me, then they should be able to connect us. Oh, okay. Um, so where did this happen again? 1421 East Evans Avenue, Apartment A. Evans Ave. Apartment A. Uh... Nine two of seventeen. I'm gonna set that right there, okay. Um what time did you say again? Like three thirty? Yeah. Okay, spell your name for me. Pamela P A M E L A. Middle initial is S. Okay. Last name is W E I R Weir. Birthday again? April sixteenth, nineteen fifty seven. Social. Two eight nine. Six two six two two one. Uh, phone number again? Seven one nine five six nine seven two one four. You have an alternate number? I do, but it's a Google number. It shoots me an email. Okay. That's it's my version of a cell phone. Okay, it's seven one nine. Okay. Four seven zero zero five two one. Emergency contact. Betty and the leader. Is that B E T T Y? T T I. B E T T I. I and the leader is A N D E R L I T E R. Address. Uh, they're getting ready to move. Her phone number is 719-659-4099. Okay. Okay.
Were children present when he this yes. happened? What's their name? Sophia. Can you spell that? Uh, S O P H I A. Okay. Last name is Bowden. B O W D E N. She's two. So what's her birthday? Uh, July twenty first, two thousand fifteen. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, and by the way, when he brought her back in from the street, he body slammed her on the couch. That's how, that's how angry and volatile he was. And I called him on it. She bounced off of that couch like a basketball. What's his name again? Adam Charles Lewis. Say again? Adam Charles Lewis. L-E-W-I-S. Birthday? 12572. 12572. Permit. What number again? His cell phone is 719-406-6606. Okay, your relationship is... Dating or dated in the past. So these are your options. Relationship with victim. Married, divorced, separated, living together, dating, dating in the past, children together, and the number of children. Well, living together and dating in the past. Okay. Because I broke up with him after the um, highway incident. And told him there was no relationship until he could smooth things over with my daughter-in-law. My ex daughter -in -law. I was struck slash injured by the suspect. How do you want me to respond to that? It's, they're all yes or no. Well, I know, but he threw the cane, so he wasn't really striking me. He threw something in anger. Is that the same thing? I can't really tell you how to answer these. I know. Yes. The suspect caused me physical pain. Yes. Was the incident an accident? Yes. Are you afraid of the suspect? Yes. Has the suspect consumed alcohol slash drugs in the last 24 hours? No. If the sus is the suspect on prescription meds? I don't know. Mm. Say no for now. Is a suspect on parole or probation? No. Have you consumed alcohol drugs in the last 24 hours? Have I? No. Yes. Are you on prescription medications? Yes. Um, if yes, what? Bicinopro for my blood pressure. Doctor? Nicholas, police. It'll be the same doctor for all of them. He's with Parkview Medical Residence Clinic. So Nicholas. Uh, police is P O L I S E. We'll just put that one for now because there's not enough room. That's fine. Um, has a suspect injured you in the past? No. Has a suspect made any threats or statements? No. Briefly describe how the suspect struck or injured you and caused you and or caused you pain. Uh, okay, how do I describe this? Uh, through a uh, metal blind cane across the room in anger. Okay, in anger? Mm hmm. After hours of verbal abuse. Okay. And struck me in the elbow. Which was painful for 30 minutes. Okay. 
Do you fully understand the questions on this form? Yes. Will you assist with the prosecu prosecution? Yes. Okay. So on the back is, do you want to authorize your medical? Yes. Okay, so here. You said the left elbow? Yes. The f more towards the front or back? Front. Now this might be hard, but I just need you to sign and date oh. in two places. Okay, if you turn around, so, so like this, you have the pen. So, right here. Hold on, keep that plate right below right, it, right, right there? Yeah, right there. Okay. And then... Right there? Yep. Okay. okay. Might not be on the line, but... It's okay. <laughs> All right, so um, let's see what I can do about finding him. See if he's there and My talk to him. My suggestion is not to call him first. No, we're just going to go over there. Yeah. He does drive a um, a gold um, Saturn station wagon. Quarter station wagon. Okay. I don't know the license plate number. That's fine. So gold. Mm -hmm. And everybody parks in the back. Wagon. Um, how long have you been blind? Oh, um, I started losing my eyesight in my 30s. It, okay. uh, it's retinitis pigmentosa. It causes tunnel vision. So all I had is like right here, and then the, this, the center part is fuzzy because the macular is also affected. Okay. It's a genetic disease, unfortunately. There's Sorry to hear about treatment. that. Oh, it's okay. I had a really beautiful Doberman seeing eye dog for a long yeah. time. Yeah. And I go back and get another puppy, but my arms and legs aren't working very well. Mm. We're trying to get, we're trying to find out what's going on with that too. What so. percentage vision do you have? Did they tell you? I haven't had a Goldman in a long time. My guess is about 80 de 18 degrees peripheral. Okay. So less than 20 degrees is considered legally blind. So I am legally blind. Okay. So that probably makes a difference, doesn't it? It does. Because I have a disability, right? I'm going to have to do some more research. It's something that we don't come across too often. I know. But they, okay. they do have crimes against at-risk adults, mm -hmm. which are people over a certain age or and people with... And I can't with, defend myself because uh, my arms and legs don't work very well either, and that's documented with Dr. Police's office. Okay. Well, I'm going to look up that too because I know um, it's it's... People over a certain age or people with some, with disabilities, right. I just have to read what disabilities that they are. Six. Yeah. So I I would do some more research for you, okay. and then I'll let you know. Um, hopefully, well, not hopefully, but you still might be here by the time we get done. I can always come back. I don't by know. And I think you know. he's going to give me Tylenol and send me on my way here before too long. Yeah. So, um, I just don't know about whether I should be, go home or not. I know, and there's re you not having your phone's kind of hard to get a hold of you. Um, well, I will. I will make sure that I um, I have that card and everything, and I'll have my friend call. Okay. I'll go to her is house. It, is she that your doctor right there? She oh. lives next door. Okay. Yeah, all the I'll stuff's go right home there. With her. Okay. Okay. Is somebody gonna come pick you up then? Yeah, she's supposed to come back for me. Yeah. Okay. Have your friend call dispatch. Dispatch. Okay. And uh, try to get a hold of me. And okay. that way... Say your last name again. Severson. Severson. Yeah. S-E-F-E-R? S-E-V-E-R-S-O-N. Oh, oh S-O-N. Okay. Yeah. Okay? Thank you. You're welcome. All right. All right. Hopefully he's still home. All right. All right. Thanks.